Some of the world famous puppet artists travel all the way to Chuanzhou, China to be a part of a gala every three or four years. They call Chuanzhou an oblivious small Chinese city, City of the Puppet. Chuanzhou was already a port city as early as the Tang Dynasty. Ocean-faring merchant ships starting from Chuanzhou sailed to India, Persia, Arabia, and Africa, and then to the Mediterranean. And the trading business also promoted a cultural exchange. Chuanzhou people loved puppets and puppet shows, and they were not alone. In the imperial capital of Chang'an, thousands of miles away, the Tang Emperor Li Longji was also fond of the puppet. Europeans, Persians, and Arabians brought with them their puppet arts to Chuanzhou, where they sojourned. The Tang Emperor was so fond of the puppet art that he promoted Lei Hai Qing, a famous flutist in a Chuanzhou puppet show troupe, to a high position. Today, Chuanzhou's puppet artists still worship Lei as the deity of the puppet show. Chuanzhou The puppet is popular worldwide. It is a wooden small figure modeled on human or animal images. It used to be instrumental in primitive people's desire to please the deities. The puppet began to be produced in Europe about 10,000 years ago, featuring predominantly female images, which shows the inclination of reproduction worship. The Chinese puppet first appeared about 3,500 B.C., later than that in Europe. By 2000 B.C., dancing and singing puppets appeared in China. From that time on, 
the puppet took on the function of pleasing people with performances in which the puppet was controlled by human performers who also did all the speaking and singing. The puppet has double roles. Performer carved and painted by humans on the one hand, prop controlled by man on the other. As a result, a puppet is a puppet. It has to be 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 a puppet. 对对角色的这种情感，然后传达给木偶，用木偶来表现出来。In terms of materials and ways of control, Chinese puppets can be classified into four categories: rod-controlled puppet, wire-controlled puppet, glove-shaped puppet. And iron rod puppet. The rod-controlled puppet looks like the head of a walking stick. The wooden stick linked to the puppet head is like the central nervous system, which controls all the movements of the puppet. The two thin rods serve as the puppet's muscles and skeleton. This is our team's Liang Gongmo. Liang Gongmo, this is that 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 is 你看这扎住了就可以洗，可以什么的。另外，它这个装的比较复杂，头发能够转，能够拿出摇摆。呃，这底下装的是这样的，我们管它叫手枪把，也是学习那个那个那个外国的那个呃制作方法，给它呃改良做成的。这个呢，我们就是呃叫了就是呃那个外操种的，外操种呢就是把这个刚才那个那个命棍儿、理论棍儿。放到外边来，放外边的话呢，就是它呃咬牙最后上呢，它更灵活，这是特别适合于就是舞蹈的。This kind of puppet is easy to control, and it can perform acrobatic actions such as somersaults. It is also very expressive in performing feminine movements and feelings. The wire controlled puppet would be a heap of mud without the densely arranged wires running down through its head. The use of the hands of the wire controlled puppet are divided into two categories martial oriented hands. And gentle movement-oriented hands. The former is applied to brandish spears and sticks. The latter is applied when the puppet is supposed to move the prop from one place to the other on the stage. All this helps the puppet show realism. This is a Song Dynasty painting in the collection of Taiwan's Palace Museum, showing a child spellbound while seeing a puppet performance. The iron rod puppet is uniquely structured. It evolves from the leather silhouette show, with painted mud sculptured head, wooden carved body, and the hands made of bound paper. It is controlled by iron rods. The glove shaped puppet is also called palm puppet. It is very simple in terms of its structure and the prop the performance uses. All puppets and props can be packed into a cloth bag and easily carried to the performance venue. When it comes to performance, the performers simply fetch the puppets from the bag 
and start performing. People call this kind of puppet show a bag show. How to make the puppet move was the oldest question the artists have tried to solve. Among the movable puppets, the watered power puppet seems to be the oldest. The water-driven puppet is powered by the ancient water wheel. Its structure is simple and the movement awkward. But in ancient times, this kind of puppet could make up large formations and, driven by the water wheel, could do a group dance to the audience's amusement. Every puppet is a meticulously wrought craftswork. The images of the Monkey King, Piggy, and Bull Monster from Chinese legends or classic novels appear on the stage in a very vivid way and appeal to the audience's fancy, achieving better results than real human actors. Their movement embodies agility and simple beauty, exaggerated and real. One of the most salient attributes of the Chinese puppet is the facial makeup borrowed from Chinese operas. The facial makeup lends various personalities to different roles. Kind-hearted, brave, cowardly, and so on, leaving strong impressions on the audience.
numerous master performers of Chinese puppet shows have emerged in Chuanzhou, whose creativity has enriched styles of the Chinese puppet show. This old gentleman, Jia Jia Zhou, is widely recognized as the representative of the Southern School of the Chinese Puppet Show. <laughs> Disastrous wars happened in China in the 8th and 12th centuries. However, this was good luck in disguise for Chuanzhou. Large numbers of intellectuals and folk artists fled to this area. Culture in Chuanzhou became prosperous in an unprecedented way. Scarcity of land and the booming of trade helped largely increase the number of people who made a living by staging performances. According to historical records, the largest puppet show troupe had 300 members or so, and the smallest had around 100 performers and clerks. In the 14th century, the Ming monarchy banned all ocean-faring undertakings and shut China's door to the outside world for fear of the spread of Western religion and knowledge in China. Chuanzhou's folk art has survived 400 years of seclusion and emerged energetic and vigorous. The ancient puppet art is therefore kept extant like a living fossil. The Chuanzhou puppet show art was handed down from one generation of artists to the next over the last centuries. A puppet show troupe generally had four or six performers and 35 or so puppets, with a repertoire of 500 items. What is worth special mention here is that Chuanzhou's string-controlled puppet shows had their own special music. Music scores written in symbols, which are unintelligible to people today, and ancient instruments are still used in Chuanzhou's puppet show troops. The age-old ceremony of younger artists formally becoming the pupil of a master is still there. Through all this, unique features of the Chuanzhou puppet show are preserved.
Around the 17th century, Troncho's puppet artists were already capable of putting up shows with spectacular scenes, numerous characters, and complicated plots. When the Qing Emperor Qianlong threw a dinner party for his court official at his Hehe Resort in 1793, wire-controlled puppet shows were staged. Pending this time, the Tiger Troop came into being in Chuanzhou, which put up very expressive shows. The puppet in this troop could complete sophisticated acts such as kicking, reaching for a sword, gripping it, and turning the eyes at one go. At the third International Puppets Festival had in Tranjo, people found that puppet shows from different countries were developing towards roughly the same direction in spite of the fact that the puppets wore different costumes and spoke different languages. Relatively speaking, English, Belgian, Spanish, and Japanese puppet shows lean more to realism. In this puppet show, Five Li Rainbow seems like a condensed cream of the Chinese puppet art. It tells of a story 850 years ago. A Chinese merchant comes back to his hometown, bringing with him his foreign wife. Seeing snake and turtle monsters make trouble with people and have many drowned in the sea, the merchant makes up his mind to build a bridge across the seas. With the help of the sea deity, Buddhist monks and fishermen, he eventually succeeds in building the longest bridge in the world then, Five Li Bridge.
Zhuangzhou's wire-controlled puppet is the most sophisticated amongst the Chinese puppets in terms of controlling mechanisms. The more complicated it is, the more wires there are. This old artist, Huang Yiche, controls a puppet monkey through more than 30 strings and thus renders the puppet monkey energetic and mischievous. When the old man condensed his skills honed over the last 70 years onto this puppet, he actually gives the puppet life and strength. Some people may ask why the puppet culture originated in different parts of the world at roughly the same time. Why the puppets the world over had so many things in common with the lack of necessary exchanges. The puppets themselves, however, don't care about that. They have their own lives and souls. They are unfailingly happy, humorous, and energetic, whether in the past or the present.